Do you think you could give a mock test without revising the syllabus? I tried that for you and I learned a lot of things. A year ago, I was frantically finishing lectures and making notes, not thinking I was prepared for a mock test. I was wrong. I am Abhijit, a final year medical student from GMC Nagpur and here is how I landed my first ever mock test for my PG entrance exams. I was helping my roommate with his recorded song when I got the message of the admit card. A few days ago I registered for DAMS computer based test which is supposed to be for 17 batch but I thought okay whatever let's try it. And tomorrow is that exam. Literally one night before the exam I went out and got the printed copy. Bro you are so unresponsible. How will this happen? Is it looking unreasonable? Look forward to it. When I was filling the registration form, I accidentally uploaded a picture of a cat instead of my own profile photo. So, I had to cover it first. Now, you won't say anything. Bro, hats off. You can't do this only. I understand this as well. Continue the video. Namaste. On my way to the exam center, my mind was racing with thoughts. So here we go for the test, mock test. In the morning I did not feel well, of course. Anxiety for every exam, even though it's just mock exam. What was I thinking, yaar? Was it too early for a mock test? I didn't even read anything. What am I going to solve? My preparation seven has started. What am I trying to accomplish here? And on top of that, I am already late. The cab dropped me near the exam center and I was shaken back into reality. Bro, how did they let you in with a cat picture as your profile? I meowed my way into the center. And in a blink, I was sitting in front of the computer and started with the test. When I came back, my mind was still racing. I had no idea what hit me. I was confused, hungry and tired. So I went with my friend Atharva and had the tastiest lunch at his home. With a full stomach, my mind finally rested at ease and my thoughts went back to the exam. The questions, how hard it was, how I could barely finish it in time. The train of thoughts got interrupted again and I was with my friends in the evening having an unplanned early dinner. It was raining outside so I stayed at Anu's place for a bit where we discussed a lot about the mock test and its implications. After that, I went to watch a movie with my roommate. Bhai mock test de ke aaya hu. Of course, I'll reward myself with something. This has been the most eventful day of my life. Now that I finally have a chance to recollect my thoughts, here's what I learned from my experience. To be honest, I did not want to give the exam, but it was necessary. Sometimes, what you are most afraid of doing is the one thing that you need to do the most. So I'll say it's a progress in the right direction. The best time to give mock test is at the beginning of the final year or at the middle of it. Basically, you will never feel complete with your preparations. It always has holes. So, if you have finished your syllabus once, start giving the mock test. My preparations always have holes. I used to get frustrated with the fact that almost all of it worked out, except one or two points that just didn't quite line up. Then I revised again and something else wouldn't fit. Then I learned that sometimes people become so invested in self-improvement that it just becomes a form of perfectionism. You start thinking that you will only give the test when you are perfect with the syllabus. But that perfect study can never be a reality because the syllabus is unending. You are good as you are now, even if you feel messed up. Growth is important and the only way to check your progress is giving the test. So don't shy away from it. In my case, I started the exam very slowly. First 45 minutes and I was done with just 20 questions. Then I looked at the clock and calculated the time again. I had to hurry through the last few questions and in the end, I could barely submit the test in just 45 seconds remaining on the clock. I have never had difficulty in managing time in subject wise tests before. But this was my first time giving a mock test. My first question was a case from medicine and second one was an image based question from ophthalmology. It took me 10 seconds just to get my head in place from medicine to ophthalmology. It made me realize that we need to think about every question from multiple subject point of view. And we need to shift from subject to subject very quickly. 
the questions also were very different from what i am used to out of 216 questions there were only 10 facts based questions most of them were clinical oriented there were assertion and reasoning match the pairs true or false etc etc these new pattern of question really slowed me down as i was not used to solving them in the first place so you see giving a mock test gives you an idea about the paper pattern the time limit you get used to sitting and thinking for 3 hours at a stretch you get used to thinking about multiple subjects at a time the integration the application and so many other soft skills you get a hang of it all it is always better to give 10 grand tests in final year just to learn how to give the grand test so that when you are in internship you can focus on the actual subject preparations another benefit is that you can check your own progress identify your weaknesses and make changes in your preparations accordingly like now i know that i am bad at pharmacology pathology ophthalmology and anesthesia so that's what i will focus on before my next grand test basically it gives a direction to your preparation you also stay in touch with your competition so that you know how far you need to go while sitting for 3 hours i also realized that my concentration can last up to 30 minutes at a stretch only after that i cannot even understand the questions so i have to take a break of a few minutes well i'm sure that i will work on it and do better next time so make sure you subscribe to me and help me with my journey as well i know that the results of this mock test will be very bad for me but just because you don't see the result after a day or even a week don't give up you may not see the changes but every smart choice that you are making is affecting you and your life in one way or another that's why it's important to keep testing yourself out mock tests also help me understand which topics are important what needs more attention what needs to be skipped and how to attempt a smart guess so go and start giving your mock test maybe you believe that you started late but the universe would argue that you started just on time you will never be perfect and it doesn't matter how slowly you are going as long as you are doing the progress in the right direction how to study for a mock test some people like me have to study too often to remember their lessons and write in exams while others can easily finish their syllabus one night before the exam some take notes some don't take notes some cannot read their materials easily and need help some can read their materials analyze them and understand them all on their own there are still infinite possibilities when it comes to studies it's how you choose what's best for yourself only you can find out what works for you just start where you are take one step at a time you will be surprised at how far you can actually go I will be back with more interesting videos until then this is Abhijit signing out keep testing yourself